sorry. <laughs> At least someone's here today. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's my first assignment, and most of my crew is out with food poisoning. <laughs> I told them not to order sushi on a Monday. Everyone knows that's the leftovers from the weekend. <laughs> wow, I'm rambling. Hi, I'm Kelly Porter. <laughs> I'm Reggie's producer. Oh, my goodness. Okay, if you don't mind, I am going to sit you down, and uh, I'm going to mic you up. How does that sound? Okay, great. We're gonna throw you right here. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I've never done this before. I'm wearing a lot of hats today. Um, uh, but not makeup and hair. You know why? Because Dax, what's up, Dax? Dax and I are vegan, and uh, we didn't catch the same plague that the rest of the crew caught. Okay, so you know what? I think I'm gonna need an audio level from you. So, uh, yeah, just... Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Uh, cat, dog, penguin. Check, check, one, two, one, two. Hello, hello. Uh, cat, dog, penguin. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, uh, 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 everything looks good. Reggie, he's all yours. Hey. <laughs> Oh, man, it's great to have you here. Back where it all started. Yeah, it's good to be back and to see a familiar face. You look great. Oh, come on, man. Look at you. You the one that look good. So listen, basically, today is going to be pretty straightforward. You've seen the show before. Okay, well, I'm just going to ask you some questions about your life and career. It'll be fun reminiscing. And, and don't worry, okay? I, uh, I got your, uh, your agent's threatening texts, and the kid glove stays on today. <laughs> okay. Whoa, whoa. <gasps> Ho, ho, ho. I see you still got those all-pro reflexes. Yeah. <laughs> Ironically enough, that's how it all started for me. You know, if memory serves, you didn't start out playing football back then. That's right. As my first day here as a transfer student, football kind of just found me. Now for the Beast de Renaissance. Your helmet. Got those fancy words from this French girl I met recently. Okay then, let's see what you can do. I don't know, coach. I haven't played since Pop Warner. Okay, football's just like music, kid. Once you learn how to play it, it never leaves your soul. Besides, if you're as half as good as you are in hockey, we're in great shape. Hey, Tommy, give him a ball, would you? We've already got a QB, coach. Darn good one based on the colleges that have already made me offers. And a modest one, apparently. Look, we still don't have any depth behind you. If we want to compete for state, it's always best to be prepared. All right. Sit yourself. We've got plenty of room on the bench anyways.
around the edges, I definitely see some potential. What do you say we smooth out those edges at practice? Sounds good, coach. Yeah, good practice. Welcome to the team. Hey, thanks, man. All right, man, listen. I'm gonna be real with you. This ain't gym class, okay? This is my team. And as long as you understand that, we'll be fine. Got it? Find yourself a box, keep it clean. Seats taken. Look, man, I ain't playing with you, bro. Don't sit beside me, all right? Yo, get out of here, bro. Hey, find yourself another spot. Captain of the team in the corner away from everyone. Shouldn't you be in the middle of the locker room, morale and all? Well, I'm just over here for some peace and quiet. I'd like to get my head clear before a game. But I can't really do that if guys like you keep bothering me. No, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. It's just this whole recruitment thing, it's really stressing me out. Thought you had a ton of offers. I did, but they can disappear as quickly as they come in. Plus, if I'm not on my game at all times, I can pretty much kiss it all goodbye. I mean, no full ride to college and no shot at the NFL. NFL. That's a bit lofty, isn't it? Maybe, but I got a lot of people counting on me, so it's the NFL or bust. Well, if you're as good as advertised, that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, you'll get a chance to see up close on Friday night. <laughs> Who's that? That's Reggie Brown. He's uh, in charge of the school paper and the social media account. He's a pretty good kid, just, you know, a little annoying. Great, and here he comes. What's up, Reggie? <laughs> Tommy Matthews, the man, the myth, the legend. What's up, Reggie? Oh, maybe an exclusive for the paper? You know, winning me over with flattery will absolutely work every time. Okay, I got an exclusive for you. You ready? Okay, so, uh, so get this. You're, 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 you're really gonna love this. Okay, so today I was in the cafeteria and you know how I usually have a chocolate shake at lunch, right? Okay, so today, this is crazy. I had a vanilla shake. That's crazy, right? I mean, vanilla. Yeah, well, Tommy, you gotta give me something I can use here. Anything, man. Well, how about a quote? Okay, Reggie, here's a quote. Tommy Matthews scores four touchdowns and leads his team to another victory. How about that? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure I can make that work. It's, it's better than nothing, I suppose. Hey, if you really want to quote, I can help you out. Who are you, exactly? Yeah, I'm the new backup QB. Uh, backup QB? Yeah, I'm good. No, thanks. Uh, 
on second thought, I need something to report on, and it might be worthwhile for the fans to learn the new face of the team. Yeah? Yeah. Ask me anything. Okay. Uh, first question. Which quarterback style would you say you emulate the most? Well, uh, it's been a while since I played competitively, but back in the day, my game was closest to... Tom Brady. Read the defense at the line, then get the ball out quick for long, sustained drives. All right. All right. Solid answer. So, when out on the field, how would you describe your personality in the huddle? Well, I'm extremely competitive, and there's nothing I hate more than losing, so I'm the kind of guy that's going to bring a win-at-all-cost type attitude to the team. Finally. That's something I could report on. Thanks, QB2. I'll see you out there Friday night. <laughs> All right. Tommy. You all right, man? Yeah, I'm fine. I just have this bug that's going around. You don't look fine. You look sluggish. It's like you're not playing with any heart out there. Don't you dare talk to me about my heart. I've put everything I have into this. This game is my life. If you have so much heart, prove it. Because you're not showing any out there. Oh. Oh, hey, easy. Easy, man. I ain't mean to upset you. You're right. About what? About my lack of heart. Look, I didn't mean anything by it. No, it's my heart, man. I was born with a congenital heart defect. What does that mean exactly? That means that my heart doesn't push blood through my body properly. Tommy, I'm sorry. I had no idea. I had a surgery when I was nine to repair it. But my doctor's saying I need another one. Tommy, you need to get help immediately. Listen, if word gets out about this, that's the end of my football career. Do you understand? Please, you can't tell anyone about this. This is serious. You can't afford to wait any longer. It's just fatigue at this point. I'll be fine. Okay, I just need to get through this season. Plus, I owe it to these guys to help them win a state championship. You're not helping anyone out there tonight, especially yourself, plus you're putting a huge risk with your health. You should sit this one out. What, and let you take over? I don't think so. I'll be fine. All right, boys, bring it in. Not a word. Well, it's hard to celebrate homecoming when you're being shut out by your crosstown rivals. Tommy Matthews is just not playing like himself tonight, and that is the major storyline as we continue our coverage. Tommy, what's the plan? I'm gonna have to bench you for the rest of the half. Take off your helmet. Have a seat. Wait, what? What, what do you mean? You're, you're pulling me from the game? Coach, I, I, I've given everything to this team. I'm doing what's best for you and for the team. Please, sit down. Uh, Coach, I don't know what he said, but I, I'm fine to play. Look, I've got scouts here watching me tonight. You, you can't bench me. No, you can't play. For me, please, sit down. Hey, we'll talk about this later. I promise. What'd you say, man? I had to. I know you're worried. I need you to focus. You got 52 other guys out there counting on you now. I mean... 52 guys? No sweat, coach. I can do it. Good. Because we're going to need you to ball out. 
That's not asking too much, of course. Oh, no, I got this. Was it the play calling? I mean, um... I've had two whole weeks to digest everything. I'll be fine. What could go wrong? Great. Well, with your athleticism, you got this. Hope you're right. <laughs> Whoa, you forgetting something? Your helmet. The piece de renaissance, the most important part. Come on, you got this. Yeah, you're right, coach. I got this. Yeah? Yeah, you got this. He so doesn't got this. And welcome back. Kevin Connors with you on one of the most special games on the schedule each season. Homecoming weekend. This live stream is brought to you by EA Sports. And he's taken down after putting together a nice sequence on that return. So I'm not sure what to make of this, but Tommy Matthews was just benched for a backup who joined the team only a couple of weeks ago. And get this, his teammates nicknamed him QB2 because they thought he'd never see the field. But here he is. Goes to his left, it's complete. Gets the first, 10. Oh, it's a touchdown! QB2 throws for a score on his first play of the game. Are you kidding me? Who is this kid? Now to kick the PAT. And it's good. So they trim the lead by one more point. The score now 13 to 7. So an unexpected drive by an unknown backup we call QB2 leads the way to this kick. Fielded at the 9. And he's down at the 30. First play of the drive for the Bearcats. And there's Coach Summers yelling some instructions to his QB from the sideline. And they're unable to hook up on that play. Here comes second down. Still 10 yards to go after that incompletion on first. Again on second down, it's Carpenter. Throws to Irons. Now he's brought down. That catch good for only a yard, so it'll be third down. Five wideouts on the field. Three to the left, two to the right. I'm going to come back to you. I'm going to come back to you. From the gun on third down. Here's Carpenter. And a close call there. Gets it off just in time, but they can't avoid a fourth down. So following a drive that came and went, here's the punt after a three and out. And here's the kick. Washington fields it. And not much to it on that return as he's unable to find a seam. QB2 came off the bench to lead his team to a touchdown the last time out. Here's a chance now to prove it wasn't a fluke. Finds Patton on the slant. He might take it all the way. And, and he's out of bounds at the one. A 75-yard game. And that's what the fans came to see. Now a chance to finish off what was nearly a touchdown on their... And he'll do it himself! Touchdown! And this game is tied at 13! Can you believe it? Here's Myers now for the extra point. And they'll take a narrow lead, just one point between the teams. The tally now... 14 to 13. Following the touchdown, the Tigers are ready to kick it away. Taken at the 13. 
And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. On that Bearcat sideline, head coach Raymond Summers doing his best to keep his kids motivated. I mean, they've watched a 13-0 lead disintegrate with a snap. Oh, change of plans. He tucks the ball. And he slides to avoid the hit. Well, I've got a moment. i got to give a quick shout-out to my man Reggie Brown with the school newspaper here. He took the time to show me around campus earlier today. This kid's got a real future as a reporter. I'm telling you, he did a great piece on QB2 not long ago. Boy, they've shown no fear on third down all game long. A great conversion rate. Can they do it again here? Carpenter takes the snap. Oh, it's a fumble! The Bearcats lined up, ready to punt it away. And he gives it the boot. Here's Washington. And he's down at the 35. At the halfway point of this third quarter, it's first and ten. Scans the field. Breaks that tackle, and there's daylight. And that's a fantastic way to start the drive. Just one play needed to get the first. So Coach Fetu feeling blessed to have a running back like Sammy Hawk that can take the pressure off QB2. Push him back. He's going to run. Gets it to Patton in space. Pass them up. Touchdown! Just two plays needed to find the end zone. And now it's time for the extra point. It's up and it's good. The lead now, 21 to 13. After giving up the touchdown, the Bearcats are back to receive. There's the flag, and that's not the kind of mistake you could afford in a game like this. So there's the decision, and the penalty accepted as we pick back up with the action. Back to pass on first down. Completes this throw on the in run. Tackled as he pulls in the ball. Give him nine there on that completion. Second down on the way. They come out five wide. Three to the right. They'll throw from the 50. And it's incomplete. So we're looking at third down. Following the incompletion on second. Here's third and one. From the gun. Inside handoff. And that'll be good for a first down on a tough run up the middle. As a quick side note, what an honor it's been to team up with EA Sports to bring you some of the best high school football action in America. The players will be competing for Heisman trophies. The ball's loose, scooped up by the D, and they'll have it at the 41 yard line. So the Tigers are lined up now. And you know, here's my plan if I'm Coach Fetu. Put the ball in the hands of QB2 and let him work his magic on this drive. Well, what a scene here today. And I'd be remiss if I didn't remind you that our next live stream will be from the state championship game later this season. Most believe the Brush Hogs are the team best positioned to raise that trophy. And he'll dive into the end zone. Touchdown. Davion Cotton, a show-stopping score from beyond midfield. And the kick is good. The advantage now, 28 to 13.
still ahead by a wide margin. They're lined up for the return. It's a fumble. He's all alone. And it's all the way home. Touchdown, Tigers. They're looking unstoppable right now. Myers now to add the extra point. And they add yet another point. One of many in this matchup. They're up big right now. Following that thrilling fumble return, the Tigers are ready to kick it away. Fielded at the 12. Oh, look, the ball's loose. Say goodbye. That is. That and is. it's all the way home. Touchdown, Tigers. They are running away with this game. Now to tack on another point. And he knocks it through. So the scoreboard reads 42 to 13. Following that thrilling fumble return, the Tigers are ready to kick it away. Well, I gotta say, all the Bearcats fans that showed up for this game, yeah, they're not nearly as loud now as they were earlier when they were enjoying a shutout. And they can't make the connection, so it'll be second down. Still 10 yards to go after that incompletion on first. Still looking to throw. It's Carpenter. Not able to throw it away. Gives up the sack. With a country mile in front of them. Here's third and long. Out of the gun, it's Carpenter. Quick decision completes the throw. That won't be enough to move the sticks. Fourth down coming up. There's the whistle as we end the third quarter. Stick around. We'll be back after a short break. We're guaranteed an entertaining start to this fourth quarter. The call is to go for it on fourth down. But it's incomplete. So the Tigers will get the football with excellent field position. Throwing to start the drive. Here we go. Here's QB2. And all it takes is one play to move the sticks. A great run there. 11 yards on the play. And that's good for a first down. From the back of the eye, Hawk scans the field. Strong left. Strong left. Man, I got you. Man, I got you. <laughs> on second down, back to pass. Wait, maybe not. He's on the move. Hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Oh, they are running up the score. The Tigers will try to add two to the board. Back to pass. He can't make the connection. So they come up empty on that play call. Well, they've lined up for the onside kick, and remember, this team has already recovered one this season. Can they do it again? They had the good hands unit out there, and they covered it up perfectly. Worth the shot on the onside kick, but no dice. 
wanting nothing more than a score. It's first down. Throwing to start the drive. Here's Carpenter. It's complete to Justice. And he'll find his way to the 35. A pickup of eight on the play. And that makes it second and two. From the gun, looking to throw. Oh no, he coughs it up. And the offense takes it back. They reacted quickly to save their drop. Following the takedown, it's third down. Watch left, left, left. From the gun, it's Carpenter. It's a heavy traffic and is picked off. And they'll have it at the 38 yard line. The Tigers send out their offense. And they've got a sizable advantage on the scoreboard. Oh, change of plans. He tucks the ball. Looks right, and it's complete along the sideline. A 28-yard gain and a first down and much, much more. Here's QB2 to start the series. He picks up a hefty chunk of yards before he's out of bounds. On just the third play of this drive, they're within striking distance on first and goal. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers! Sammy Hawk, he bulldozed his way into the end zone. And he puts it through. Needing a score on this drive, here comes the kick. And he's down at the 35. Shotgun look. On first down, back to pass. Throws to stop. Live ball. The D's got it. They're on the move. And they'll have it at the 44 yard line. You know, I gotta say, it's kind of odd seeing someone other than Tommy Matthews delivering these throws. I mean, he was basically the face of this franchise, in a manner of speaking. Throwing to start the drive. Here's QB2. Wait, maybe not. He's on the move. Throws left. It's complete. And he's taken down at the 18-yard line. Hawks lined up in the backfield. In the red zone, looking to throw. Ooh, and that's almost intercepted. But the drive stays alive. Following the near turnover, here's second down. Still looking to throw, it's QB2. This is caught at the 10. And the play call there, successful as they get it across for the first. Now six yards from the end zone. Here's first and goal. He'll throw again. Oh, change of plans. He tucks the ball. He cannot be stopped. Touchdown. And they extend their lead. Myers is on now for the PAT. And he gets it to go. After giving up the touchdown, the Bearcats are back to receive. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. Go 
going through the motions now. Here's the start of a new series. On first down, he'll drop back. And it'll be incomplete. Brandon Irons, the intended target on the throw. Still 10 yards to go after that incompletion on first. Target, 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 target. Drops back and he'll throw it again. It's complete to justice. They bring him down. Not a lot on that reception as it brings up third down. Surveys the field. The ball comes out. And the defense has it. They flip the field with some great playmaking. Opening play of this drive for the Tigers. And they are very much in control of this game. Wait, maybe not. He's on the move. And he's past the 20 to the 17. A gain of seven on the play. And now it's second and three. Looking to pass. Hawk with the carry. He's got an and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. And that should seal the deal. The Tigers are lined up for a two-point attempt. Here's QB2. He makes the grab. Good for two more. And that play call, not exactly sportsmanlike. We should be in for an interesting handshake between the coaches when this baby's over. Following the touchdown, the Tigers are ready to kick it away. As we approach the final minute, it's first down. Strong left, strong left. Bring it. Shotgun snap, here's Carpenter. Into the flat, it's complete. And he won't get much on first down. Michael Washington with the tackle. All right, so following the short game, here's second down. Looks to throw out of the shotgun. And the ball pops free as the defender timed that hit perfectly. Following the incomplete pass on second down, here's third and seven. Ricky, Ricky. Out of the gun, looking to fire. And he can't make the catch. Too much contact on the play, so it'll be fourth down. And he sends it away. Washington fields it. Quick on his feet. And he's down at the 35. First play of the drive for the Tigers. And there's QB2 making some final preparations as we await the snap. I'm going back the to Hail you. Mary. I'm going back to you. And they're unable to hook up on that play. Here comes second down. Still 10 yards to go after that incompletion on first. He's back to pass. Oh, change of plans. He tucks the ball. Delivers a pass on the... He's got it! And he's tackled at the 17. A big-time play that gets a roar from this crowd. Following that tremendous play, it's first and ten. Hand off to Hawk. Go, 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 And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Sammy Hawk. Kid's been living in the end zone. His third score of the day. Now to dot the I and cross the T. And the point after attempt is good. Cool. 
after giving up the touchdown, the Bearcats are back to receive. Caught in the end zone. And he'll move them up to the 25, no, the 24 yard line. Opening play of this drive for the Bearcats. And they're playing for pride at this point. Their deficit, a considerable one. Grabs the snap. Oh, he lost the football. Timeout called by the Tigers. Likely the last one of this game. As we take a quick timeout of our own. Watch left, watch left. On second down, he'll drop back. It's incomplete. Had no choice but to go for it, but their prayer goes unanswered. And that will do it. A comeback to remember. So as our EA Sports live stream comes to an end, I'm Kevin Connors signing off. I'm going to be watching you. Not just with one eye, with both of my eyes. All right? Keep doing good work, and I'll be in... Hey, uh... Grant Simmons, recruiting analyst over at RecruitsToWatch.com. Heck of a game at that a nice son. Hey, uh, you ever think about your future in football? Where you might want to commit to? Not really. I'm just kind of having fun out there. Yeah, yeah, I see you out there having fun. Well, uh, look here, when you're ready, give me a call, all right? We'd love to add you to our site. My man. The man of the hour. But you're the hottest scoop this year. Got a few moments for an exclusive? Sorry, maybe some other time, Reg. I got a lot of prep for the playoffs. <sighs> but I'll tell you what, if you give me the exclusive, I'll put together your senior highlight reel for recruiting next year. Wow, you'd really do that? Heck yeah. I, mean, I got a lot of tricks to get a lot of eyes on your tape, too. Yeah, I do that for all the guys that are pretty nice to me, which is the kicker and now you. Sold. I need as much help as I can get with recruiting. All right. Let's get started. Wow, great. Okay. Um, let me think. Oh, regarding your last game, what would you say is your biggest strength? My biggest strength? Uh, I feel like my receivers would say I'd throw them a pretty good ball. You know, I got this touch pass, puts it right where it needs to be. All right, well, if you're not going to play me, I quit. Well... Reg, I guess there's the exclusive. Need a word from my office. Championship on the line. Every drive can seem like it's the most critical. And they bring him down after a short pickup. Well, for the
the Bush Hogs, this game marks a return to the state championship. It's, it's a chance for redemption after losing a blowout just one year ago in this very same stadium. The history they bring to this match has a whole new dimension to this showdown. And meanwhile, after going backwards on that last play, here's third down. Zero progress on this drive thus far. It's third down. Out of the gun, it's Dixon. Now he'll tuck and run. He can't pick up the first as he stopped short of the marker. So earlier today, while speaking with Brush Hogs coach George Thompson, I asked if their loss in the title game last year came up at all in their preparations this week. And you know what he said? He said they took the game film and they buried it. He insisted they put it behind them and that they are ready to raise the trophy. QB2 and his brigade of playmakers take the field for the first time in this title game. The drive begins on the ground with Hawk. And no gain on the play there at second down. As anyone knows, high schoolers and social media, it can be a recipe for drama. And Clay Rainey stirred up some controversy this week when he predicted a championship win for his brush offs. You can imagine how well that went over with QB2 and his squad. Spoiler alert, not well. Lined up in the backfield, there's Sammy Hawk looking to pass on first down. On the snap. And he's down at the 14 yard line. Oh, really play that gets the fans on their feet. Lots of success through the air on this drive. Hawk gets the handoff. Title game. And that'll make our score 7 0. Following the touchdown, the Tigers are ready to kick it away. And this will be caught deep in the end zone. Really no need to risk it. He's just going to take a knee for a touchback. The Brush Hogs send out their offense. Let's see what the future holds on first and ten. The drive begins on the ground with Rainey. And he'll scoot his way forward for a solid game. Okay, so you're hitting me up on social media wanting to know exactly what play Rainey posted and... It was an invitation to his championship party tomorrow evening. There's room to run at the 40, the 20, 10. Touchdown! Tyrus Poole, a show-stopping score from beyond midfield. And that'll tie things up as they prepare to kick it away. Giving up the touchdown, the Tigers are back to receive. Fielded in the end zone. And it's effectively a touchback as he stopped at the 25 yard line. So the Tigers are lined up now. And we've got ourselves a tie ball game as they open up this drive. Wait, maybe not. He's on the move. Let's one go deep for four. He makes the catch. And he will die the hands off. Touchdown. Ready four. And that's a play worthy of RecruitsToWatch.com.
Tigers are ready to kick it away. Take it at the four. And he'll be brought down after finding a bit of room off the field. The Brush Hogs take over on offense. And there's Coach Thompson yelling some instructions for Gavin Dixon from the sideline. Holds on to the ball as he takes a shot on that play. So the comments keep coming in now on my channel. And yes, I did see Sandy Hawk's reaction to the Clay Rainey party invite. For those who haven't, here's what Hawk said. You can delete the post, but screenshots live forever. There you have it. Everyone from playmakers to politicians take heed. The new era of bulletin board material is here. Throwing on third and long. Here's Dixon. They run the screen, and that's complete to Rainey. And he stopped at the 25. Let's do it. Gavin Dixon, the field general of this Brush Hogs team, and someone who comes from a family with deep ties to Nebraska football. His dad, Clyde, played running back for the Huskers, as did his older brother, Tommy. Mom, Olivia, was a star on the Huskers track team, so I'm not so sure Gavin has ever even considered going anywhere else. The Tigers send out their offense. And let's be honest, the playbook should take advantage of the way QB2 is reading the D and making great decisions. And yes, it's a catch! Collects the first. Touchdown! Jameson Maddox! And that's the kind of play we've come to expect. Here's Myers now for the extra point. Touchdown, the Brush Hogs are back to receive. This is fielded deep in the end zone, and we won't see a return here as he kneels for the touchback. So the Brush Hogs are lined up now, and you know, signal caller Gavin Dixon, he's no stranger to pressure. He led the way to victory in a couple nail biters earlier this season. And he'll take it up to the 31 yard line. Bring us to the end of the first quarter when we return. The quest for a state championship continues. Stay tuned. Dixon takes the snap. And he's not able to come down with it. Third down on the way. I mentioned earlier Gavin's ties to Nebraska football. Look, he's obviously been asked about it since I think the eighth grade. And to his credit, he's never been shy about saying, Yeah, I mean, if given the opportunity, he's in trouble and down. So following the drive that came and went, here's the punt after a three and out. And he sends it flying. Here's Washington. And a flash of agility there before he's tackled. The return good for 10 yards. drive for the Tigers and as they get underway complacency can be the silent killer this drive will be key they snap the ball now he tucks it and now the flag comes out as that falls incomplete here's our referee defense. with the call defense. so the verdict's been delivered and no surprises here as they accept the penalty. Gathers the snap. He's got an in. First down, Tiger. When you look around this stadium, clearly a state championship of this caliber will draw thousands upon thousands of fans, and there's more than a few NFL players among them. Before the game, I saw guys like Patrick Peterson and the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, signing a bunch of autographs. He'll go deep, it's caught! Touchdown, Tigers! Just two plays needed to find the end 
Alonzo. Now the try to add one more. And they add yet another point. One of many in this matchup. They're up big right now. in control of this game. They're lined up for the return. He fields it at the two. And he's down at the 25. Here come the Brush Hogs to start the drive. And with this kind of deficit, Gavin Dixon and his playmakers will need to come up with something big on this drive. Dixon and off to Rainey. And that'll be a pair of yards on first down. Washington with the tackle. You know, another thing about Nebraska football, we got a couple of former Court Huskers in the house here today. Devontae David and Rex Perkman are here to take in this championship game. Give it to Captain I call Reggie for the heads up on that. After coming up with a strong run, it's third down. Rainey gets the handoff. Can't come up with enough to move the sticks. Looks like he needed just one more yard to avoid a fourth down. The Brush Hogs lined up, ready to punt it away. And here's the kick. drive for the Tigers and let's keep an eye out but they make it more conservative as they nurture that sizable lead the desperation he pulls it in 10 touchdown they just continue to light up the scoreboard now the kick for one more Try the onside kick. This could get interesting. And they're unable to recover the ball. And so now their defense heads onto the field. And he stopped at the 42. The Brush Hogs send out their offense. They've got to make every play count to have any chance of mounting a comeback. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Douglas. There he goes. Ten. And it's a pick six touchdown. And they stretch their lead. Myers now to add the extra point. And he knocks it through. The score now. Touchdown. The Tigers are ready to kick it away. Field it at the nine. So the Tigers are lined up now. And there's QB2 making some final preparations as we await the snap. And he'll dive into the end zone. Touchdown. QB2. He's thrown for five touchdowns in an all-time performance. And he puts it through. The tally now. 49 to 7. Following that costly score, here comes the kick. It's taken at the four. And he stopped at the 27. Getting 
ready for the shotgun snap. Here's Dixon. The Brush Hogs start the drive with Reedy. And he's brought down after a nice gain on the play. I spoke of the NFL players in attendance here today. Earl Thomas and Jarvis Landry happen to be watching from the sidelines tonight. And get this, Adrian Peterson showed up at Coach Fetu's request and surprised his players with a pregame speech. Can you and he stopped at the 36. A 33-yard gain. And that's a first down and then some. From the gun, it's Dixon. On the slant, gets it to pull, and he'll move his way forward to the 32. And while I've got a moment here, I'd like to thank my guy Reggie Brown for the well-researched game notes he gave me. Reggie writes for the school newspaper that's covered QBT since he's joined the team. And I gotta tell you, that little Sparky has really earned my respect. Might be after my job one day. Timeout called by the Brush Hogs. They're down to a pair in this first half as we unravel the final moments of this opening half. Inside the red zone, it's Dixon. And they can't make the connection, so it'll be second down. Still 10 yards to go after that incompletion on first. Once more on second down, here's Dixon. That'll be caught at the four-yard line. And he's tackled at the three. Now the Brush Hogs call timeout. They're down to just one now as we near the halfway mark. Looks to throw on third and one. And this is... Celebration as there is a flag down. Here's the call. Push on something. Nothing to pass or defense. Now for the point after. And he gets it to go. So the scoreboard reads. 49 to 14. Following the touchdown, the Brush Hogs are ready to kick it away. Caught in the end zone. And his decision to bring it out proves fruitful as he puts together a great return. Opening play of this drive for the Tigers. And all eyes are on QB2 as he gets set for this drive. I think every smartphone in the stands is pointed. He makes the play. on second. Here's third and five. Out of the gun, they'll throw. And that drops incomplete. So now they're looking at a fourth down. And the 
the kick is away. Washington fields it. And he's tackled at the 26-yard line. Timeout called by Coach Fetu. That leaves them with two now. And with enough time for one more play. One last try before the break. Oh, a change of plans. He touched the ball. Let's it go on the run. And that's incomplete. Attacked the secondary to start the series, but they couldn't make the connection. So after one half of championship action, it's the Tigers in control. And when we return the second half of this historic showdown, he fields with the two. And he's out at the 29 yard line. Scans the field. Throwing to start the drive. Here's QB2. Wait, maybe not. He's on the move. Goes to his left. It's complete. He's in the clear. 10. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tiger Pits. They are running away with this game. Myers is on now for the PAT. Giving up the touchdown, the Brush Hogs are back to receive. He fields it at the five. And he's down at the 30. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's Dixon. Back to pass on first down. the game notes Reggie gave me earlier and here's an interesting fact Rush Hogs head coach George Thompson once played coach Fetu in a football game back in college now it wasn't for a championship but coach Fetu's Trojans won that non-conference showdown amazing how we've come full circle here today needing something positive here's third and long they'll throw from the gun oh change of plans he touched the ball the ball's loose scooped up by the D he's out in front you got a level baby give him some more Send out their offense. And there's 
Coach Fetu calling out some instructions for QB2 from the sideline. Throw is left, it's complete. 20, 10, and he does it again. Touchdown. And now it's time for the extra point. And he puts it through. Lined up behind Dixon. They'll start this drive on the ground. And he's brought down at the 39. Just short of a first down. Here's second and inches. They go back to Rainey. Working now from the far side of the logo, it's first and ten. Dixon hands it off to Rainey, and he's taken down inside the 44-yard line. A gain of five on the play, and that makes it second and five. Getting ready for the shotgun snap, here's Dixon. Rainey gets the handoff, and they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. After a minimal pickup, it's third down. Dixon hands it to Rainey. Now he's taken down, but not before coming up with a first. After a solid pickup on that previous play, it's first and ten. From the gun, it... Oh! First down. Throwing to start the drive. Here's Dixon. A quick hitter for the completion. And he's brought down at the 34-yard line. A pickup of three on the play. So it'll be second and seven. Looking to throw. Here's Dixon. Completes that for a lady on the screen. And look at that. Tackled for a loss. Sending this offense backwards. Come out five wide, three to the right. Pops back to throw here on third. Man, did they get lucky that time. Nearly picked off. But the drive will continue. 
continue. So following a drive that came and went, here's the punt after a three and out. And he gives it the boot. Here's Washington. And it's a positive return, but he never quite found any daylight along the way. First play of the drive for the Tigers. And they've got a sizable advantage on the scoreboard. Wait, maybe not. He's on the move. Delivers a pass on the run. He caught it. Ten. He cannot be stopped. Looking for two. Looking to throw. Here's QB2. He's got it. Yes, they'll add two to the board. And that'll push the advantage, growing their lead. After giving up the touchdown, the Brush Hogs are back to receive. Fielded at the three. Solid effort on the return as the offense heads onto the field. The Brush Hogs take over on offense. And to be honest, all hope seems lost, but these kids continue to show some heart. He's got his big wide receiver, that's complete. And he stopped at the 36 yard line. After doing most of the heavy lifting on first down, Here's second and two. Looks to throw out of the shotgun. Oh, hold on. He's right. Oh, he puts it. Scoop the ID. The 20. And the right is it. All the way back. Touchdown. The Tigers will go for two here. Following the fumble recovery, here's QB2. He makes the grab. Good for two more. And that'll push the advantage, growing their lead. Following that thrilling fumble return, the Tigers are ready to kick it away. Taken at the 10. And he stopped at the 32 yard. Here come the Brush Hogs to start the drive. And with this kind of deficit, Gavin Dixon and his playmakers will need to come up with something big on this drive. And they're unable to hook up on that play. Here comes second down. Still 10 yards to go after that incompletion on first. Still looking to throw. It's Dixon. Looks to his right. So the Tigers are lined up now, and they are very much in control of this game. Following the fumble recovery, here's QB2. Oh, a change of plans, he tucks the ball. And that'll be caught along the right sideline. And he's taken down at the 14-yard line. A 24-yard game, and a first down, and much, much more. Now from the red zone, it's QB2. Touchdown of the game. And the kick is good. Falling further behind on the scoreboard. They're lined up for the return. Coming from deep in the end zone. And he'll kneel down for the touchback. Here come the Brush Hogs to start the drive. And they're playing for pride at this point. Their deficit, a considerable one. Looking for a receiver. A tip ball that's almost intercepted.
Following a close call. Here's second down. Again, they'll pass it. point. It's first down. Throwing to start the drive. Here's Dixon. He's got Rosas. And he's dropped in the backfield for a loss. Back to pass on second down. on second down. Here's third and long. Out of the gun, looking to fire. And they're unable to make the connection, so here comes fourth down. The Brush Hawks lined up, ready to punt it away. And here's the kick. Washington fields it. Brought down at the 44. The Tigers send out their offense. And they've got a sizable advantage on the scoreboard. Shakes him off and he could go. And he is gone. Ten. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. Stopping score from beyond midfield. And the point after attempt is goal. Here's the whistle and now the kick. Fielded in the end zone. Yeah, I think the special teams coach's head might have exploded if he took that one out. Right choice on the touchback. We're under two minutes in the final quarter. It's first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Here's Dixon. Goes underneath to Rainey. Taken down as he makes the grab. The connection on that play, good for seven yards. Now it's second down. Here's Dixon. He's got it. That's the record. He's at the 40. 20 to go. And he's down at the three. A big time play that gets a roar from this crowd. Now it's first and goal. The offense in need of a score. Dixon looks downfield. It's caught. Touchdown. Took a shot. Roughing the kicker's got to be the ball. Roughing the kicker. Defense. Hey, man, let's play our game. So it's roughing the kicker, and it'll cost them 15 yards. Following the touchdown, the Brush Hogs are ready to kick it away. And that'll wind up a touchback, so by rule, they'll start from the 25. Winning play of this drive for the Tigers. And there's QB2 making some final preparations as we await the snap. Under pressure and sacked. Following the setback. Here's second down. QB2 
22, looks downfield, shows up, and he's got it! So Coach Fetu continuing to run plays with the game well at hand, and on the opposite sideline, Coach Thompson looks furious. They ripped off a huge chunk of yardage on that last play and really changed the dynamic of this drive. What do they do now for an encore? Throws left, it's complete. are struggling to keep their players from running onto the field, but even they're having a tough time containing their excitement. Well, the students are rising to their feet as we await this onside kick. They had the good hands unit out. So the brush hogs are lined up now. And to be honest, all hope seems lost, but these kids continue to show some heart. Scans the field. He's going deep for Poole. Throws into a double team, and it's intercepted. to this euphoric scene. Right here, this is my favorite part. The spin move you do. Breaking that dude's ankles and the stiff arm, woo! Reminds me of my playing days, Samoan warrior style. <laughs> it's too bad you stepped out of bounds. You could have scored a touchdown. Well, there's no way you could have dodged Tommy. How the heck have you been? Hey, Tommy. How you feeling, man? Good. Got a clean bill of health. I'm ready to get back out there. Come on in. Have a seat. Didn't think you'd be back. Trust me, I tried transferring. Doesn't seem like any other schools want to accept a perceived health risk. But I've got a clearance for my doctor, coach. I'm ready to play. What do you think? I'm glad you're healthy, Tommy. And I know the guys would love to have you back and all, but this is sort of my team now. You know what would make you an even better quarterback? Me at receiver. Shoot, yeah. We'll work something out. Like you said, coach, you gotta do what's right for the team. That's the best news I've heard since my Aunt Lokalani's bore one best in show. I'm gonna get the playbook. We're gonna start drawing some stuff up. Woo! <laughs> I know I'm not your favorite person in the world right now. You're not even in my top seven billion. <laughs> That's fair. Just know I did what I did to protect you. Not to try and take everything that you worked for. And I can understand if you're angry with me, but I'm gonna do everything I can to make it right. I'll tell you how you can make it right. The Midwest Prep Showcase, later this season against the Central Hawks. What about it? Well, they're the best team in the country, and it's a nationally televised game. That means every recruiter's gonna see it. So what do you want from me? I just want you to let me go out there and do my thing, and show the recruiters what I can do. It's my last chance of getting an offer. Fine. But if it's not working out out there, then I gotta get the other guys involved. Trust me. You won't need to.
One of the loudest venues in the NFL on Sundays looks to be no different on a Friday night. We've got a packed house for the Midwest Prep Showcase. Soon, two of the best high school football teams in the nation will collide here at Arrowhead Stadium when the Hawks take on the Tigers. Wait, it's... it's... you're... Yeah, rapper, producer, entrepreneur, Snoop D O double G. Please believe it, that's me. But hold up. Ain't you one half of them heartbreak boys? I'm a huge fan of yours. Nah, man, I'm a fan of yours. Check this out. If the coach and half the stadium knew what I was about to say, they'd try to run me out of this town, man. But let me tell you this. I've been following y'all story for quite some time. And I'm pulling for y'all tonight. Wow. That's, that's amazing. Thank you so much. For sure, my brother. Now get out there and go do your thing. Snoop, you know Tommy Matthews? Tommy! Hey. Hey, man, it's a pleasure to meet you, man. I'm such a fan, man. Hey, likewise. Love your hard work, your dedication, and how you just put the team and put everything on your back, man. That's beautiful, man. It takes a whole lot to do what you did. Oh, th thanks, man. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all better get out there and make it count, man. It's a whole lot of schools that's gonna be watching y'all tonight. And I got a feeling I'm gonna see y'all again. Good luck. Ball out. Will do. <laughs> Thanks, Snoop. For shizzle, Snoop. <laughs> Yo, we just met Snoop Deal Double G. I know. That was cool. What? Let's go do this, man. <laughs> La di da di da. <laughs> Taken at the four. And he'll be brought down after finding a bit of room up the field. So in this matchup of top-ranked QBs, it's Braxton Knight and the Hawks with the chance to strike first on this opening drive. And they can't make the connection, so it'll be second down. Braxton Knight, easily one of the best quarterbacks in the nation, hasn't faced a double-digit deficit since he became a starter last season. If he gets this offense clicking, it is a sight to behold. Picks up a nice chunk of yards before he's brought down. The D is ready for a throw on third down. Shotgun snap. Here's Knight. He's on the move. He's got a first down and more. Now he'll slide to a halt to avoid the contact. A 20-yard gain. And that's a first down and then some. take him down at the 42. All these kids so thrilled when they found out this year's edition of the showcase would be played at the home of the Kansas City Chiefs Arrowhead Stadium. This is now a premier event on the high school football calendar. Knight takes the snap. And he's not able to come down with it. Third down on the way. Following the incompletion on second, it's third down. From the gun, it's Knight. And that drops incomplete. So now they're looking at a fourth down. Apparently, the kids on the field weren't the only ones thrilled about this game being an arrowhead. We've got an incredible turnout for one of the most hyped matchups of this season. So for the first time in this showcase, we'll get a look at QB2 and his offensive weapons, Tommy Matthews among them. He finds a lane, he's on the move. 20, 10, Morning, touchdown. Kid. Sammy Hawk, a show-stopping score from beyond midfield. 
Myers is on now for the PAT. And that's good for a 7 0 lead. Giving up the touchdown, the Hawks are back to receive. He fields it at the five. And he stopped at the 27. The Hawks send out their offense. And the chat for this live stream filled with opinions presented as facts. By the way, feel free to add your own. I know I do. Really not able to get much before he's tackled. Head Stadium, one of the best venues in all of football. And you know who loves it here? The coach, Jonathan Coachman. Big time Chiefs fan. He's a Kansas native, in fact. Oh, it's a fumble. Now it's picked up going the other way. And they'll have it at the 14 yard line. Halfway through the opening quarter, it's first down. QB2 takes the snap. Wait, maybe not. He's on the move. And that's a tremendous run to lead off the drive. From first down to first down. From the three-yard line. It's first and goal. Back to pass. And he'll do it himself. Touchdown. Just two plays needed to find the end zone. Now the try to add one more. And they extend their lead. 14 points separate these teams. Following the touchdown, the Tigers are ready to kick it away. Fielded at the nine. He's brought down at the 29-yard line. First play of the drive for the Hawks. And field general Braxton Knight finds himself in an unusual situation. He's not used to being down double digits at any point in his career. And he's got it past the marker. First down. So, yes, there's an obvious reason why they call this the Midwest Prep Showcase. Every year, it's quite literally a showcase of the nation's top players. This year is the first time they've ever had the top two quarterbacks in the country face off. I'm speaking, of course, about QB2 and Braxton Knight. The Hawks with it. The ball's loose. Scooped up by the D. And they'll have it at the 43-yard line. play of the drive for the Tigers and they begin this series with a comfortable but not insurmountable lead and that was dangerously close to being intercepted so get this earlier today I was speaking with Hawks coach Kevin Robbins and in typical fashion he did not hold back about today's matchup he proclaimed his D would be so good against QB2 they'd end up putting Tommy Matthews back at quarterback bold words Just a textbook defensive play there to force the incompletion. Here comes fourth down. Ready to take a chance. It's fourth and long. Surveys the field. Oh, change of plans. He tucks the ball. Goes to his left. It's complete. Touchdown! Yet another clip for his growing highlight reel. The kick for one more. And they add yet another point. One of many in this matchup. They're up big right now. You know, I can't help but think back to what Coach Robbins told me before the game. How his defense was going to shut down QB2. Hadn't exactly happened, right? And I'd be very interested in hearing his thoughts right about now. And he stopped at the 32 
yard line. So the Hawks are lined up now. And at this stage of the game, every minute counts for them to have any shot of making a comeback. Knight looks downfield. Fires quickly, and that's complete. And he's down at the 45-yard line. You know, a high-profile game like this can generate the interest of some big-time schools. And this stadium is loaded with coaches from powerhouse. It's a fumble! The D's got it. They're on the move. And they'll have it at the 50-yard line. So the Tigers are lined up now. And they begin this series feeling very confident. They're up big on the scoreboard. And he stopped at the 27. A 23-yard game. And a first down and much, much more. Before they can get off the snap, we've come to the conclusion of the first quarter. And after a short break, we'll begin Chapter 2 of the Midwest Prep Showcase. Looking to pass. Wait, maybe not. He's on the move. Now he'll pass it. He's got Matthews. So with a couple of catches under his belt, Tommy's looking confident in his first game back. Now you can feel the defense scrambling a bit. They could really use a stop with their backs against the end. He's got it! Touchdown, Tigers! They're looking unstoppable right now. Here's Myers now for the extra point. And he knocks it through. Our score now, 28 to nothing. Here comes the kick. Oh, what a hit. I think he knocked him back to homeroom. We've kind of been waiting for this offense to hit its stride. I certainly know the coaches have. Maybe this is the start of something here on another first and ten. Not much there as they're able to bring him down. I mentioned a few colleges earlier with recruiters in attendance. A guy, Reggie, gave me a list with a few more names on it, and you know it's a heavyweight matchup when you've got schools like Oregon, Florida, and Southern California among the fans here today. And it's incomplete, so we're looking at third down. The defense is set up for the pass. to throw on third down. Here's Knight. Makes the connection this time. And he stopped at the 47. Gotta share a quick story. All right, so I'm making my way to the press box before the game, and who do I see but the dog father himself, Snoop Dogg. And he's seeking out QB2. But here's the thing. Snoop is a diehard Hawks fan, which tells you just how magnetic QB2 really is. One man in the backfield, and he'll get the tip. Oh, look, the ball's loose. Now it's picked up going the other way. And they'll have it at the 41-yard line. The Tigers send out their offense. And all eyes are on QB2 as he gets set for this drive. I think every smartphone in the stands is pointed at that young man. And he's tackled at the 46. One last thought on Snoop, you know. He's a Southern California guy. Long Beach, if I'm not mistaken. And I wonder if he wasn't whispering in QB2's ear about the Trojans, right? I mean, who knows, but I, I wouldn't be surprised. So following the short game, it's third down. Here's QB2. He'll pick up the first down. And he's finally stopped around the 31-yard line. From 
on the back of the eye. Hawk scans the field. He's back to pass. Oh, change of plans. He tucks the ball. He's got a man wide open. And he makes the grab, picks up the first, and moves them even closer. four-yard line. Here's first and goal. Grabs the snap. And they're unable to hook up on that play. Here comes second down. Following the incomplete pass on first down, they snap the ball. And that's almost picked off. The safety nearly made the catch. But the drive stays alive. Incompletions on first and second led to this. Third and goal and a tough situation. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. And they extend their lead. for the point after. And he puts it through. The score now, 35 to zero. Needing a score on this drive, here comes the kick. Taken at the 10. down at the 35. The Hawks send out their offense, and they really need Braxton Knight to flip a switch and march this offense down the field for points. They're going to bring him to the ground after just a short pick -up. So let me just take a moment to say here, when you stand next to some of these young men as I have, they look ready size-wise for the next level. I mean, some of these kids are huge. Meanwhile, here comes the snap on second down. Here's Knight. Across his body and right into the hands of the defender. Intercepted. Picked off by Washington. drive for the Tigers and they've got to just be thrilled to begin this drive on the plus side of the field gathers the snap oh change of plans he tucks the ball naturally people across the football landscape are sharing their thoughts on where they think QB2 will go to college some think Miami others insist it's Texas but I can tell you this I'm beyond confident his decision will be the top thing trending on signing day Finds Matthews on the slam, and they're not able to stop him before he comes up with the first down. So that's his third catch of the night as Tommy shows off his versatility, first as a QB and now as a wide receiver. Looking to throw, here's QB2. Pulls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. He used to throw. Tommy is back. Myers now to add the extra point. And he gets it to go. The tally now, 42 to nothing. After giving up the touchdown, the Hawks are back to receive. Taken at the 10. And he's tackled at the 31 yard line. With halftime just around the corner, it's first and 10. Set, go. 
throwing to start the drive. Here's Knight. And they drop him for a sack. Well, I mentioned it a little bit earlier, the size of some of these kids. Just take a look at Kelvin Thrash, number 87, the Hawks title. He could suit up for a primetime college game tomorrow, no problem, and not get thrown around. With just a mile to go, it's second and long. Out of the gun, it's Knight. Monroe brings in his first catch. The 40, the 30, 20, 10, and he's all the way home for a touchdown. Alexander Monroe, a showcase highlight for years to come. Now they'll kick the PAT. And the kick is good. So the scoreboard reads 42 to 7. Following the touchdown, the Hawks are ready to kick it away. He fields it at the two. Mm -hmm. And a nice return gets this upcoming drive started on the right foot. Opening play of this drive for the Tigers. And there's QB2 making some final preparations as we await the snap. He breaks free. 30. Past the 20. 10. Cuts right. And room to... And he'll dive into the end zone. Touchdown. Sammy Hawk. His second rushing touchdown of the game. Now they're lined up for the extra point. up and it's good our score now 49 to 7 and they've lined up for the onside kick and remember this team has already recovered one this season can they do it again and they're unable to recover the ball and so now their defense heads onto the field first play of the drive for the Hawks and now Coach Robbins barking some instructions for Braxton Knight from the sideline. And they can't make the connection, so it'll be second down. Still 10 yards to go after that incompletion on first. Again on second down, it's Knight. Here's Monroe, wide open. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Hawks. And now it's time for the extra point. And he knocks it through. The score now, 49 to 14. After giving up the touchdown, the Tigers are back to receive. And with that being a touchback, they'll move the ball out to the 25. Opening play of this drive for the Tigers. Let's see what the future holds on first and 10. He's got a man. First down, Tigers. All right, all right, all right. Lined up in the pistol. Now the Tigers call timeout. That'll leave them with two in this opening half. And with enough time for one more play. One last try before the break. Pressure comes and down he goes. This exclusive event, it's the Tigers in control. And when we return the second half of the Midwest Prep Showcase, as we get set for the kick, the second half is about to get started. Taken at the one. And he's down at the 30. Good job, man. Wait, hold on. Hawks 
lined up behind QB2. And this drive will begin on the ground. And they'll make the stop after a solid gain on the play. You know, going back to signing day, I gotta say, despite the crazy number of people who came out to see QB2 in person here today, there are so many more following him on social media, waiting on any kind of announcement. Truly, the level of interest is like nothing I've ever seen. After coming up with a strong run, another give to off, and they bring him down after a short pickup. The D is ready for a throw on third down. From the gun, it's QB2. He finds his man on the in route. And that's good for a first down. And it was only a matter of time, right? Reggie just told me the hashtag QB2 to the U is a thing. Not a love social media. And let's be honest, you just know Miami's been selling this kid on the incredible tradition they have at the QB position. Stays on his feet and room to run. And he picks up a meaty chunk of yards before he's taken down. A 28-yard gain. And that's a first down and then some. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's QB2 looking for a receiver. Quick decision completes the throw. And he finds a man down at the five with a first down. From five yards away, here's first and goal. They'll go with the run. And he comes up with a nice gain before he's taken down. A pickup of five on the play. And now it's second and goal. Option right. Oh, and he's brought down for a loss of yards. to the end zone. Now it's third and goal. They'll try to punch it in with Hawk. And that play goes nowhere as he's stuffed for no gain, setting up a fourth down. First field goal attempt for the usually steady kicker. Continue to light up the scoreboard. Everyone's lined up, ready for the kick. Oh no, he coughs it up. He gets away from a defender. Ten. And it's all the way home. Touchdown, Tigers. They are running away. This game. Myers is on now for the PAT. Oh, he's taking off. Putting back right. He's unable to get it across. They failed to score two. So they come up empty on that play call. Fumble return. The Tigers are ready to kick it away. Caught in the end zone. And this will be a touchback as he drops to one knee. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's Knight. Trying to get something going on the ground. And that goes in the wrong direction as they're tackled for a loss. So Coach Fetu spelled F-E-T-U for the longest time. I was pronouncing it Coach Feta, like Feta cheese. So 
Let's just say I'm thankful he's a forgiving guy for as big a guy as he is. After a minimal pickup, here's third and long. Big series right here. We gotta step it up. Out of the gun, they'll throw. High ball. And the Tigers take possession. They flip the field with some great playmaking. Hawks lined up in the backfield. The Tigers will run it. And he'll move his way forward to the six. Just a couple yards away. They go play action. He slides to his right. He cannot be stopped. Touchdown. Now to tack on another point. Oh, and that's the telltale sign of a missed kick. A loud clang as he smacks it off the upright. Still leading by a comfortable margin. They're lined up for the return. <laughs> Following the fumble recovery, here's Knight. Not able to throw it away, gives up the sack. with a long way to go. As they get situated at the line, the third quarter comes to an end. We'll be back shortly with the final stanza of the Midwest Prep Showcase. Looking to pass on second down. And that'll wind up incomplete. C.J. Cole, the intended target on the play. Wanting nothing more than a score. Here's third and long. Now they'll throw from the gun. Holds onto the ball as he takes a shot on that play. That's what I'm talking about. So as the Hawks get ready to punt it away, they're facing... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. You hate to see it. Braxton Knight is yelling at his offensive line, and it doesn't look like any kind of motivational speech I've ever seen. Someone better cool him down. Opening play of this drive for the Tigers, and they are very much in control of this game. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. Clock ticking, they hustle to the line. They go back to Hawk, drives through the defense, and the play call there successful as they get it across for the first. QB2 to start the series. Oh, hold on, he's running right. Matthews is wide open for the catch. And he's tackled at the 11. A 29-yard gain. And a first down and much, much more. From the back of the eye, Hawk scans the field. Looking downfield, here's QB2. And he's tackled at the one-yard line. Just one yard away on second down, back to pass. And he makes the grab. Touchdown. Oh, no, wait, wait, no. No, they're calling it out of bounds just outside the chalk.
Let's see if they follow up the pass play on second and inches with something on the ground here on instant pressure, and he's taken down for the sack. So the offense stays on the field looking to move the chains. It's caught. Touchdown, Tigers. That's another score in his return. It's a legend in the making. Here's Myers now for the extra point. And he puts it through. Fielded at the nine. And he's taken down after putting together a nice sequence on that return. Opening play of this drive for the Hawks. And they're playing for pride at this point. Their deficit, a considerable one. Looking to throw. Here's Knight. The ball comes out. Scooped up by the D. And they'll have it inside enemy territory. First play of the drive for the Tigers. And they've got a sizable advantage on the scoreboard. Brushes him off. Now he's finally out of bounds after a huge gain on the play. First down, he'll drop back. Scratch that, he's moving right. Matthews is wide open. And he'll rack up some yards before he's out of bounds. On just the third play of this drive, they're within striking distance on first and goal. He's got it! Touchdown, Tigers! Tommy Matthews, third score of the game. Comeback is now legendary. And the point after attempt is good. They've lined up to try the onside kick. This could get interesting. They had the good hands unit out there, and they covered it up perfectly. Worth the shot on the onside kick, but no dice. Opening play of this drive for the Hawks. And they really need Braxton Knight to flip a switch and march this offense down the field for points. Scans the field. He, oh, he lost the football. The D's got it. They're on the move. He's all by himself. The 30. The 20. And it's all the way home. Touchdown, Tigers. Oh, they are running up the score. Try to add one more. And he gets it to go. Following that thrilling fumble return, the Tigers are ready to kick it away. Fielded in the end zone. And it'll be a touchback as he elects to take a knee. Going through the motions now. It's first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Here's Knight. And the ball pops free as the defender timed that hit perfectly. Still ten yards to go after that incompletion on first. He'll try again as he drops back. He makes the delivery. The 40, 30, 20. And he's down at the 8. A thrilling play that gets the fans on their feet. All right, here we go. It's first and goal. From the gun, looking to throw. That'll be caught at the four-yard line. And now just a couple yards separate them from Pater. 
Less than two minutes remaining in this final quarter. It's second and goal from the two. Going with the run. And he goes straight at him. Touchdown. Now the kick for one more. And the kick is good. Following the touchdown, the Hawks are ready to kick it away. Fielded at the three. His decision to bring it out proves fruitful as he puts together a great return. So the Tigers are lined up now, and they are very much in control of this game. And he'll take him down after a nice pickup. As we approach the final minute, QB2 looks downfield, airing it out. That's caught deep in Hawks territory. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. Okay, now that I'm back in my seat, why don't we pick back up with the action here, first and 10. Wait, maybe not. He's on the move. Throws left. It's complete. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Tigers. And that should seal the deal. It's up, and it's good. Well, the students are rising to their feet as we await this onside kick. And they're unable to recover the ball, and so now their defense heads onto the field. So the Hawks are lined up now. And to be honest, all hope seems lost. But these kids continue to show some heart. Down the middle of the field, it's complete. And he takes it into the end zone. Touchdown, Hawks. And that's the kind of play we've come to expect. And the kick is good, but whoa, there's obviously a roughing call on the way. The foul. Roughing the kicker. Defense. Unbelievable. So it's roughing the kicker, and that's a 15-yard penalty. After giving up the touchdown, the Tigers are back to receive. And that'll wind up a touchback, so by rule, they'll start from the 25. The Tigers send out their offense. And there's Coach Fetu calling out some instructions for QB2 from the sideline. Back to pass. They start the drive with Hawk. And officially no gain on the play at second down. They hurry to get lined up. On second down, he'll drop back. They'll run it with Hawk. So Coach Fatu keeping the playbook open as Coach Robbins steers a hole right through him. This is getting tense right now. So he'll take a knee here, likely to be followed by one more as they begin their celebration on the sideline. And that will do it. The Tigers win the showcase. On behalf of everyone at EA Sports, I'm Kevin Connors signing off. This question is for both of you. What trait do you think will give you the edge at the next level? I 
think my ability to stay in the pocket and get off accurate passes under pressure is something that will help with the next level. Let's just hope you have someone like me out there hauling in those passes for you, though. But seriously, though, the past two years have really put things into perspective for me, and thanks to this guy, I'm just fortunate enough to have the opportunity to go to college and further my football career. Well, okay, gang. I think that puts us in a great place to go ahead and find out where these two are going. All right, gents, who wants to go first? Well, you have the honors. It's the least I could do for all you've done for me. All right. So the decision is made. Tell us, when it came down to it, what led to this choice? Well, there's been a lot of elite talent that have walked those halls, and I'd love to add my name to that story list. Plus, the opportunity to play for a legend like Coach Miller is too much of a draw. Uh, he's a guy that's had a ton of success with the school, and I think us, I think there's a lot I can learn from him. All right. All right, Tommy. What you got for us? <sighs> Let's see. Who's it gonna be? Isn't it obvious? I mean, Batman needs his Robin, and I can't break up this dynamic duo. But in this case, I'm Batman, you're Robin. I never said I wouldn't try to win back my own position. Details rolling in, everybody, on today's crazy news. Coach Miller is stepping down from his illustrious college coaching career, and in his place, the school is promoting hotshot defensive coordinator Red O'Brien. Now, Coach O'Brien has been all the rage for quite some time, sitting at the top of a ton of schools' shortlist for head coaching gigs, but it sure looks like he's just going to stay put and take over the entire program. But what I really want to know is what it's going to mean for everyone's favorite dynamic duo, the Heartbreak Kids. I know you've both been sitting patiently for the past two years, waiting for your shot, so I made a decision. Neither one of you will be starting. What do you mean? We've done everything that you asked of us. How many of those do you guys have? Now, as I was saying, neither of you will be starting, but both of you will be playing. Coach, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not switching positions. I'm not asking you to switch positions. You both get reps at QB. It's a defense first team now. So I don't need your heartbreak kids nonsense. All I need is for one of you to manage things and make sure the offense doesn't give the game away because my defense certainly won't. You understand? Well, you've seen what we did in high school. I don't care what the heartbreak kids did two years ago, son. I'm more concerned what you can do now in college and winning a lot more at ease. So I'm gonna rotate you guys. I'm gonna stick with the hot hand until I see what I can get out of one of you. And you'll start the first half. If you do well enough, you'll stay in. If not, we'll see what Tommy's got. Coach, you can't be serious. You two are competitors, right? Well, 
That's how you're gonna have to approach this as a competition. Now go on, get out of here. Well, there is no hint of fall here on this hot and humid Saturday. Pilgrimage to Hard Rock Stadium in Miami for the season opening kickoff classic.